party continues from the just ended Lusaka July in September and we're having a gas here at Luna Lifestyle Studios because we're about to give you an amazing fashion review. I'm your host, my year the beautypreneur. And I'm Gabriella, your fashion enthusiast. And we're about to give you all the gist, right? Uh, please bear in mind that this is just our opinion, right? But this is just our view and we want to give it to you. So girl, a lot went down at the Lusaka July in September. Um, the execution was something I've never seen before. There's this girl in particular who arrived on a crane. Amazing. Yeah. I could not believe when you told me yeah. that that was the case. Tell yeah. me more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just saw her arrive on a crane. I don't know much, but I feel that was good. No, that was wonderful. I mean, yeah. she just hitting the, the theme on the head, mm. doing the most, calling all the Konekis, what's happening? I need Can a I crane. Can I get a crane, <laughs> y'all? I need a crane. I mean, it's all about the fun of it. So let's arrive in style. Let's arrive in style. I can only imagine the calls she had to make, but girl, that was extra. And we actually loved it. I love that. I love the different outfits, you know, like there's so much to talk about. You know, people really thought about what they were going to wear. It's not just a get up and go type of thing. They actually went into the planning and, you know, thinking about what it'll actually be and going to see a designer and you know actualizing it well when you start from months and months and months ago i mean we expect to see something amazing we don't yeah. want to just see you rock rock up like you're going to a wedding or to some just simple event i mean you're going to lusaka july lusaka so july. you have to give it and this is like the best fashion event you can actually attend in zambia so it's amazing platform for the designers amazing platform for influencers as well as well as the models so it's it's great and this year we actually had a lot we saw a lot of designers and influencers from various parts of the country and the continent let's get into let's it let's get into it <laughs> i want to start with the girl that came on the crane i know there's a lot of material on that outfit. there's a lot going on <laughs> there's a lot going on okay i'm looking at the material girl i'm i'm saying how much material did she have to use how much fabric because if you're just going to look at that bottom the you know, bottom yes that's a lot of fabric that's exactly where my mind goes straight away mm. those beautiful floral uh they look like little statues Mm. florals i love that they don't they're, they're hard which also goes with that copper theme it you know, does yes her color is on point her color, her is, color on point. is on point okay so for me i'm looking at her hair and makeup and i i feel she could have done a little bit more i just don't like it i, I, I just don't feel like it well you're well the makeup me. and hair queen yeah you're in the biz okay so maybe if she did the... like an updo but she basically just did an install and let it go and off she went off she went girl. what i think is the right term is that the dress is wearing her exactly she's not wearing the dress no she's not girl. wearing the dress the dress is wearing her as beautiful as it mm. is and she did an amazing job i will not take that away from we won't her. take that away and go keep coming in them cranes okay so here we have tabu which oh my god if we're talking about the color this is this is it. This is the color Spot I was on. looking for. Spot on. This is copper. Yeah. And for me, I'm feeling the like a malted, malted copper. Mm. It's statuesque again. Yes, it is. It's giving mm. copper wires. Copper I don't wires, <laughs> girl. That's it. Like what? What? This is creativity yes, at this its best. Is. I'm looking at mm. it, and you know, the the first time I saw it, I was wowed. I might say that this might be my favorite. Really? You yes. haven't even seen anything yet. Uh, uh, yes, I know that, but I know when I like something. But yeah. anyway, anyway, I'll, I'll put it there. I'll put it in my uh, favorite category. Let me say this. Usually people think when you show skin or when you show so much, mm. that's when you look beautiful or you look the best. You know, she isn't even showing much. No. But she looks stunning she like you don't need to get your thigh out your back out like you don't need to do all of that no. when i see this i see i see class he is but, working those angles oh girl. 
that yes, dress. Yes, I love it. It's just absolutely 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Millie Beauty. I think she's kind of going for like this Indian look because I'm looking at what she has on her head. But then it's not Indian when it comes to like the dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I don't really know what her inspiration is. But when I see it, it's just, it's cute. It's cute, but not creative enough. I don't know. It's safe. I don't it's think safe. you want to go to this event and play it safe. No. You want to go there and show yourself. I mean, she's showing her tattoos, so we get a little bit of a personality in yeah. on there. Um, okay, then yes, I can see where you're going with the Indian mm -hmm. uh, sort of inspiration with the headpiece. But I thought the color was off as well on that one. Yeah, the color was off. We have um, Tio, and Tio is wearing a bow gown. I'm not wild. I feel it's also safe. I feel like this is saying, okay, I'm gonna buy a lot of fabric yes. and I'll wear it. And because it will be very big, I will look very nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> or was it about the more the fabric, the better the look? That she does absolutely. look beautiful. It's a nice dress, but it's safe. I it's just not feel creative. like a designer should say, we're doing copper, there's geometric shapes. Yeah, there is think about there's just so much and I you see I feel like I can just get all that fabric and redesign it like it's not complete I don't know if you feel what I feel she didn't have enough time to actually you know have that fabric custom designed and you know in a creative way do you feel it Yes, I just feel like the top and the bottom are missed somehow. Yeah. Um, and the, the thing is, she actually has a stunning body. Her body is beautiful. And if you see her like on the gram, she wears amazing clothes. But I don't know if putting her in a bow gown was. I don't know what to say about this. You know, for a moment when I saw it, and I don't mean to be mean, but I kind of felt like she was a bat. What she has on the back felt like bat wings. You know what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean. I think again, I'll, if I just say a comment on the color, the color is that orange that's not mm. copper. Um, the design, I, I would just say that maybe the tailor was a little bit too simplistic. With I think there is some creativity. There is creativity. There is, it's there, you know. Um, at the, the back. That's shapes, what it is. Uh, is the correct way of thinking. I can yeah. see that the correct way, the thinking was there. The, it was there. With the, sh with the geometric shapes in terms of those hard mm. edges with, that you might expect from copper. Yeah. But somewhere just felt flat. You can see the hem on the side. Yeah. Is not quite correct. No, it's not. We have Mercy Mukbiza. I'm gonna go back to like the tone. Mm -hmm. I don't think she got the tone. I don't know. I feel like it's like a, it's like a burnt orange. But the design is beautiful. You know, Mercy is someone that has a gorgeous body, and she, you know, she knows her legs are, you know, great, and she showed that. And if I'm gonna look at her hair and her makeup. Um, I can't even predict that. It's, it's gorgeous. gorgeous, absolutely it gorgeous. Is gorgeous. I don't know. She if looks like an Egyptian it. goddess. Yeah. With her hair. With, with, I'm gonna just take this, but I don't know. The dress is a great design. Like it's it's nice. It's not wow, but it's nice. We move along. So we have Chileshe, who's a makeup artist by profession. Honestly, I love the contrast of her hair and her her outfit. I feel like the red and the copper is good. I love the contrast and I love her her face. If I'm gonna go to her outfit, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm gonna agree with you. Her makeup is divine. Her hair is done so well. It looks so beautiful. But when I was scrolling and seeing the pictures before, I, I, was, I just kept on going. Yeah. When it came to the outfit, I just I mean, and she must have been boiling. <laughs> she was hot. Yes. Okay. No, girl, but she has a jumpsuit. Like, her, her shorts is... Maybe by the, on, on top. Oh, no. I don't know, but I just feel it was... It was safe. And it wasn't for the occasion. So here we have Kuka. 
and um, wearing a beautiful dress. There's so much going on over here, uh, so much to talk about. Um, this massive shoulder sleeve <laughs> in a contrasting color. Do you like it? No. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Honestly, no. that's the one thing I could have taken out of this because if her dress is that. gorgeous. And I was like, why did she need to add that? Because the dress without that is splendid. I, I think may, uh, there's also some black bones in the corset. Also, she wanted to match that. My hair stretchy. is black. Her hair's black, the bones are, I'm trying to dissect this so we can make sense of what's mm. going on. The skirt to me is giving that melted copper liquid, liquid vibe. vibe that I was hoping to see more of. More of so yeah. I can see that the designer here was going again in the right direction. Yeah. Um, it's just somewhere I think it was just lost with the No, you know what I think? I think the dress was made, it was complete. It did not have the black thing going on. And she said, no way. We need to be extra. Add something. Add something. I don't know. Shayla is, girl, I just need to tell you about this dress. A little birdie whispered that Give she me the scoop. spent about 40K on this dress. That is crazy. I mean, she looks it. She looks it. It looks it like looks... an expensive material. Yes, you oh. can tell. Yeah, I love this dress. Honestly, I do. And um, I feel it, it, it does um, encompass the different shades of the copper. And then I love that she's showing leg, but not too much. It, it's not skimpy type of thing because it could easily go left. I, I love the fit. I, I think what I love so much more is the color. She will hold up. Yeah, on. if I'm gonna talk about makeup and hair, I feel it's it's enough. It's it's cute. It's complimenting. It's it's great. And here we have Lorna Shower. So Lorna Shower, girl, she had her dress made by a designer in Ghana. Okay. She a looks like she is wearing copper. Her skin, skin. is just stunning. When I saw it, and I I said what. She looks like a copper bullet. Have you seen a copper bullet? Yes. She does actually. <laughs> yes, and a copper bullet. Like she looks like a star, honey. I love this. This is this is one of my favorite looks, honestly. Beautiful. Everything. The the earrings. And the makeup. The makeup. The accessories. The hair. Here we have a very beautiful lady who attended the Lusaka July in September. Yeah. Oh my god. She looks stunning. Girl. I love her dress. I love her fabric. I love that the material looks rich. It's rich. It's yeah. giving that melted copper thing that we keep talking mm. about. Melted. Talk about melted. Like the dress is glowing. It's melted. It's, it's melting all over her. It's melted and then it cooled into this beautiful uh, silhouette. I love your imagination. <laughs> okay, I love this dress. We have Mampi, the music queen. When I saw this, I was stunned, but I did not expect anything less from Mampi. She has brought it time and time again. Every time she has attended this prestigious event, she has brought it time and time again. And sometimes I begin to question, like, are her designers Zambia? Yes. But they are. Mampi is one of those ladies, I'm sure, has a lot of creative uh, influence in, in what she's going to wear. She's mm. not just going to wear anything. anything. I love her dress. I love everything about it. I love you. You've been talking about shapes. There's shape. There's everything going on here. There's different. The the fabric is falling in different ways. I yes. can see some crushed metal on the bust. Girl, um, the hair is stunning. The color was hair. on point. Everything is beautiful. Beautiful. Her I love hair. the dust. Some hemi. And it was flowing too. It was melting at the bottom, like you said. It's say. crushed on the top. It's it's just beautiful. And it has a metallic vibe. Definitely. Metallic For me, Mampi's look is definitely a contender for ten this out dress. Ten. ten out of ten. Uh, Miss Universe Zambia. Okay. She just won a few weeks ago. Her name is Brandina. And she's preparing to go to the Miss to represent Zambia on the 
we're talking about the start of July in September and when I'm gonna look at this look I feel amazing I feel proud to be African I love the beadwork let me just go straight yes. into it I love the beadwork I have no doubt she's gonna do well she will and I'm looking at her crown emphasis must be placed on her crown when it comes to this look because obviously she's a queen and she she's wearing this amazing crown to she the just looks July. so beautiful it took, uh, yes it took a long time to put together just look at those details it was and she handmade. stands out from everyone else yes she does she does so she's a contender definitely definitely a contender and here we have keely wearing a nude sort of dress nude it's not it's, proper <laughs> it's nude it's nude it's nude with flowers <laughs> Okay, yeah, for sure. I, I agree with you, Gab, on that one. I don't think this is copper. No. No, it's not. No. I have I feel like there's a lot going on over here. Like help me out. What was going on over here? Like, um, were they just like the designer trying to just add things and make it look busy? Um, if I'm gonna look at the design, like it's something we see all the time. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. Her hair and her makeup are flawless. But the dress is not doing justice for her. Feels was she rushed? hiding something? And I don't know if you can see, but the fit is not well done. Yeah. And I'm trying to walk on eggshells. Yeah. Which I won't lie, she looks stunning. Like her, from her, her face and her face. skin and her makeup. Her and yeah. Her body, I can't say anything bad yeah. about it. Um, ab about her per se, but the dress. The dress is felt, not doing no, justice. It felt flat. Yeah, did. Cleo. I, I love this. She did it. She did it. She rocked she, it. Mm. She looks beautiful. She does. I love, love, love her hair and makeup. I was I've there. never critiqued her hair and makeup, and I don't think I should even talk about it because. It's great. No, it's stunning. I want to place emphasis on the dress. And I think even her hair and makeup was not to steal away from the dress. It was just to compliment and, you know, show that I actually did put in effort. But when I look at the dress, looking at the stitch, you know, the detail that went into it. To actually put, I don't know if those are like petals, you know, but to put them in, cut them and sew them in, in a way that they actually flow. Yes, those are those geometric shapes I keep mentioning. Yeah, that are just beautiful, just draping down her body, her gorgeous um, body, her gorgeous mm. body. Her the the color is slightly on the orange, but it's still because of the metallic. I think when you wear the orange, you have to have that. It has to have metallic, metallic effect. Oh, yeah, the metallic yeah. to bring it back into a mm. copper. But yeah, she looks beautiful, absolutely stunning. I was there two years ago, and I can remember what she wore that year um, in 2022. Yeah. And uh, she Emerald, it. Emerald yes. in a damning world. Yes. Yeah. She looks, I must say, this year a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. She looks beautiful. I think she looks effortless. Effortless. Effortlessly beautiful. She looks comfortable. Comfortable. That's it. <laughs> Here we have the beautiful Nonku Williams from South Africa. Yeah, she looks stunning. I love, love, love her outfit. And I can see there's a lot of thought that went into it. Um, remember, we're talking about having different uh, fabrics and textures. And she has that because I can see the feathers, I can see the lace. I can see, I don't know if that's like a, a silk material that's on the inside of the lace, but I can see that there was a lot of detail. And so have I. I had a fantastic <laughs> time. I feel like I was there. Yeah. So uh, no more FOMO for me. To the gentleman, this is DJ Shortstack. Yeah, he got the copper color and I can see color. that on his hat as well. The um, shoes are brown, they're not copper, but uh, obviously who has copper shoes anyway? So I'm not gonna critique him on the shoes. I, I just feel like it's safe. It's cool as well. It's a cool look, but it's also safe. Like I don't feel like there's much creativity going on there. He, he could have done yeah, he looks yeah. good. He looks he looks fresh. He but looks fresh. We're not here to look fresh, we're here to look, you know, upgraded, like level up type of fashion. Not your everyday look, not 
where you can go to work or go to a meeting with the same suit anyway. You can wear this one every day. What we're looking for is not every day. Yeah. So he looks good, but yeah. Let's get to our next um, attendee, Luis Munana. This is a Namibian designer. I feel like the men, they lack something when it comes to uh, creativity. You know, yes. for this event, I, I, I feel they, they, they're usually safe or... Do you think men really know how to be creative? No, I mean, it's very hard for them. I'm going to give you what I like about this. Yes. Because obviously it's summertime, it's right? It's yes. the South of July in September. And it was hot. It was hot. But he let his arms out. Okay. That is great. And I, I feel like that's a good feature that he has that he can actually flaunt. So I like that about this. I also feel, you know, his pants are loose. Probably he was thinking he wants to be comfortable. Mm. Did he get the color right? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there was a lot of orange going on, but orange is not in the in the copper palette. It's not, and no. I, and I know how people have got it wrong that they think it is, but it's really not actually. But this is like a burnt orange. But I, I actually, honestly, feel like the, what he did with his arm is well. Great. Yeah, he's tatted up and all that type yeah. of thing. He's got big uh, muscles and because in the midst of getting this creative creativity out there, it's about knowing your body. Yes. Yeah, and dressing for your body. This is more it. This is more it. There's a lot of different textures going on. Yeah. You get in a variety of copper tones mm -hmm. in the jacket. I love this little sash thing going on. It yes. So unexpected. And you know what? I was like, how did he think of like, you know, crossing I've that? I've never seen that. But do you before. think he was comfortable? He looks comfortable. He looks comfortable. Sometimes fashion is not about comfort. It's not about comfy like the Met Galas and people show up and things that are like, oh my gosh, how did you get yourself in there? No, I love did it. Did you Just actually get stitched there? I like this. You know, Brian Chanda for me um, is someone that I feel fashion forward in a way. And um, yeah, I love his, his, his jacket. I think that's the statement over here. That's the statement. And his color was to the T copper. Yes, and it's got those little studs on the on the collar here. On the collar. And um, I don't know if you can see, but they are also in different tones and that's what i like is just instead of saying we're gonna just put one one, one color yeah one gonna, shade one shade <laughs> let's do it let's do it let's so do it and you know it. what copper does come in different variations so we have tay green okay malawian singer and um he's actually dressed by um tio okay yeah he's dressed by tio what do you think Okay, the pants are that copper tone. They, yeah, the tone. This is that orange that we're talking about, which it can either be a hit or miss. This yeah. one is a hit on this the This is color. a hit on color. I know, you know, as uh, designers come up with, or, or when designers are creating something, mm -hmm. there was probably a sketch. Yes. Or there was probably someone who wore it before, mm -hmm. right? And, um, you know, sometimes the execution does not come out exactly like the picture. And I kind of feel like that's the case with this. Because I now I can't even tell what it was supposed to be. I, I, I feel like I would have loved the jacket more in a darker tone. Okay, you're back to color. I'm back to color. Yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think that's what would have worked. Um, I think overall, yeah, he looks okay. There's a sort of a rock and roll vibe with the flared pants. Yeah. Um, he looked okay. He was just safe. Yeah, I think I would have liked more going on with the jacket. Yeah, me too. Instead of just only focusing mm. on the fringe. Um, Maybe more studs else. somewhere. Some studs. Yeah. Just something to tie it all together. Because yeah. it looks like the bottom and the top, top are, are two different entities. Picks. Yes, they're not collaborating. Something should have just... Somewhere. Yeah. Put it all together. Okay, I get it. Move along to... Um, styled by Milao and um, this is a designer right so obviously he knows he knows what to do what to create how to do it what goes with his body when I look at this I see safe it's clean it is nice it's neat it's, it's neat it fits right 
but it's safe. That's what I was gonna say. It looks very tailored, very well, tailored. well, well yeah. tailored. Um, I actually really like this. You do. I think the pants are the tad too small around the thigh. Really? Yeah, they are. Okay. In the picture, I maybe do see that. Picture. Yeah, maybe, maybe the angle. Maybe the picture. angle, yeah. angle in this picture. Um. But I like it, I like it. I mean, sometimes I don't want to see men going crazy. This is CQ, and uh, I'm looking at that and I'm like, he, his execution or thought of Copper was great. I don't know, but his outfit on the other hand is safe. I, I don't think it's bad, he doesn't look bad to me, but I just feel it's safe. Yeah, so we can move along with that one. And here we have the Z podcast, guys. I feel Elson um, played it safe. So did K Plus, honestly. In fact, when Luna TV had the opportunity to interview them, Elson in particular, he said that um, he wants to wear something that he can wear on a Monday. Okay. He doesn't want to have an outfit that he packs up okay. for that one day. You get what I mean? So I see safe all over this. I, I really don't have any comments about it unless the color, basically, because it looks basic to me. So if I'm gonna talk about the color, it is copper, but it's not a nice copper. It's not like it, the color is complimenting them or it's like a rich Not enough material. metallic, yes. But yes. You get what I mean? Well, if you wanted something to dress every day, whenever, whenever, then he did what he wanted. But so, would you wear this every day, whenever, whenever? It's that color that's like... You might as well have gone all out if you ask me. Because yes. Because you're not going to wear this. I, I want to see Elson wear this. Honestly. I want to see him wear it on a typical day. I like this. I like the shade. I love it because it's just so luxe. That's what I'm, I'm, yeah. I feel from this that's look. That's the word. Yeah, it is lax, and if I'm gonna take that jacket, I'm not gonna wear it every day, but I'm gonna wear it to a red carpet. Exactly. And it's still gonna speak or stand out or just, you know, look good. And I, I feel he looked good, honestly. No, he did look He's good. He's won uh, Best Dress before in the past. I don't know if he's gonna get it this time around, but I wish him luck. <laughs> I think it might be a contender. So. It could be. Make sure to follow Luna Lifestyle TV on all our social media platforms. That's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, as well as TikTok.